Hi guys, it's Sista and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to see which books you can read after seeing these amazing TV shows. Arcane, Wheel of Time, The Witcher and Shadow and Bow. For each of these TV series I will be sharing what are the elements that for me made it iconic and then some book recommendations that I believe match with these elements. And as starting with my favorite TV series which I believe was a fantastic, we have Arcane. And this series for me the main elements were this a fight between the highs and the lows of the city. Our main character lives in the lows. They are kind of the poorer and they are part of this revolution kind of between these two forces of the city. We also have a heist kind of at its core or it's an important part of the story and we will find that magic plays a very important role in this story. If you are looking for something and that vibes with that. I have four fantasy series. The first one is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. And this is mainly a kind of a medieval sort of society where the bad guy won and we've been living in his ruling for thousands of years. And the result of that is a society that is a very imbalanced. And we have this poor section of the city that lives a very, very, very oppressed. And we will have this main guy called Kelsier who will start recruiting people to perform a heist to this ruler. So the ultimate goal is to overthrow this ruler and they will have alimency. So they will be able to consume metals and these metals will grant them powers. Then we move to Foundryside, which really, really gives me arcane vibes. This story is also kind of a medieval, kind of a little bit of Italian setting, where in this world it seems that magic resides in scribing objects. And it seems that there are different houses within this city and each of them have learned some scribes and for that the objects can be persuaded to do stuff. And will follow this main character that has a very special power which is that she can sense objects which makes her the ultimate thief and because of that she is tasked with thieving a small box that contains an element that can change the scales of the society and she will be chased by the different houses for this element that's kind of the main element. We'll see this world where there's kind of a lot of magic, but there's a lot of poverty and they are not really advanced in other elements. We will see how the rich people live very comfortable with this magic. But the same has happened with Arcane. We'll see how in the lower sides of the cities, they don't really have access to all of this. And the next two are more of a high story. The first one is Lies of Locke Lemora. And we will follow this main character named Locke as he decides with his friends to rob the most important of the houses in this medieval world where it seems that some gods of the sword technologically a little bit lived and there are remnants within the city of elements that are kind of magic. I reckon it's not very potent within this story but just how there's these different fights within the lows it's also very similar to me to arcane how the discussion between Silco and Vi happened it's super similar to that part there will be a lot of banter a lot of friendship between the characters and how this found family kind of vibe is kind of core in the story and the last but not least we will have six of crowds six of crowds is another example of a heist we will follow six characters as they do this kind of heist that plays all of them in a very challenging situation each of these characters will have a very different skill set. The magic of this book though is that they are great characters, same as it happens with the cave. And okay, moving to the second one, Wheel of Time. Of course, you can read Wheel of Time, but if you want something different from that but resembles, then I have two main recommendations. But first, what are the iconic things of Wheel of Time for me? We have this quest trope, but also this epic story that will go through different lands and it's kind of massive in scope. Then we will have these different characters, all of them playing a very important role within the story. We will have kind of these 
trope of discovering oneself and going into the recommendations the first one is a stormlight archive oh my gosh i think this is so much something you need to get into if you have that itch that wants to be scratched it's a massive epic fantasy story placed also in this medieval world we will have this war between different races across the land and we will follow different characters the story obviously it's massive but the first book at least tells different points of view the main one is of this amazing man who starts to be a bridgeman so he is part of the lowest of the lowest rank in this war we will follow also another point of view of this general of the world and also of this woman that it's very intelligent and that she will need to find her place and discover a little bit how to save her family each of them will need to find their place and the second one the Shannara chronicles which is also in this kind of medieval middle earth of the swords kind of setting and we will have this grave danger that it's emerging and we'll see how we start to see a calling for this main guy and how he will need to learn his powers meet different characters in this quest and you know overall start to understand what is happening fight it then we have the witcher which and for that I just have one recommendation that I think it's really a spot on. What makes The Witcher for me is one, it has this great power kind of character. We have this chosen one that is like ultra chosen. She is so powerful and she is so keystone to the story and she will need to understand the problems and we will see how Geralt also needs to fight demons kind of as a source of living will also have a very powerful woman in the story and for that I have Winds of Strife, a self-published book by Uji Goodman. Mainly in this world it seems that the nights are getting longer and longer and longer and it seems that there was a witch the one that made this night go longer. So the king has decided to create a set of soldiers kind of to kill and hunt down the different witches and from that we will start with our main point of view which is of Nye. He is one of these witch hunters and he is a very great character, there's a lot of motivations going on but we will also have very powerful women across this story. We will see how the magic in this world lives through emotions and we will also have this character that is very 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 resemblance to Siri. She lives kind of in a very naive way and how she will need to little by little start training, discovering herself and ultimately we'll see how this plays a role. And last but not least moving to Shadow and Bone. What makes this Siri is a great Siri for me was that we'll have this chosen one trope which I'm a sucker for and also we will have this coming to age kind of vibe right we have Alina as she is discovered to be like the savior of this land but also she will need to be trained will have this tackling situation and also this relationship with Mal who is her long time friend since they were children and for that I have three recommendations the first one is the legacy of Orisha, starting with Children of Blood and Bone. And this series will follow our main girl as she is part of this tribe. This is kind of an African story and it seems that in this world there's no magic anymore but there's some people that can access to it and our main protagonist is one of them and she is, has been oppressed by that and we will follow her and other characters in this quest of discovering how this world can be turned better. The second one and this recommendation especially goes for lovers of the Duckling and Alina and this is the Black Magician trilogy by Trudy Caravan and in this story we'll have this girl that is sort of an apprentice and she will start to be this kind of 
very powerful person to be trained in this kind of school under the leadership of the black mage. And the last, and I think this goes for the lovers of Lina and Mal, we have a snow like ashes and we will have this world that it's separated through different seasons. And it seems that there was a revolution going on and we will follow the air of the winter throne and they will need to start this path, this quest to search for different objects or artifacts to make sure that the magic kind of comes back. There's a lot of longing between the characters and that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comments what you thought about these recommendations or if you would suggest any of whatever is your favorite TV series of the mentioned or any new. I'm really keen to see your thoughts and I really hope to see you real soon in another video. Bye-bye!